Hey guys, this is Jay, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do these, these sort of brush arrows and circles which you see in a lot of thumbnails, but I've seen that there's only one PNG of the arrow which is being used, and there's only one circle which is being used. So I thought I'd do a little tutorial on how to do your own, just if you want to switch up your thumbnails or whatever. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to sketch out the arrows and the circles on paper. It is doable in Illustrator for example, but I find it's much easier to do on paper first and then vectorize it after. So I just use these Crayola markers to do it and if you want um, these same Crayola markers I'll put them in the description but the, uh, the main thing to do with these is to use the edge and to go really fast um, and you'll get this sort of withered line effect which looks sort of like this, maybe that was a bit thick, which sort of withers at the end as you take your pen off the paper. and if you just do um, a collection of these to make up the shape of the arrow you can get a sort of that was yeah you get what I mean though just with these markers in particular I'm not sure if all markers are like this um, but I would recommend these definitely because they, they work for me so you've just got to get the right angle and you just keep playing with it really so with circles as well it's a bit different because as you go around some parts are going to be slightly thicker than others so if you want it all one thickness it's going to be quite hard to do now if you want this sort of withered effect of the circle it's going to be yeah quite hard to do that's that's a good example and you can also stretch this out in Photoshop later to be more of a perfect circle rather than an oval but that's also a decent one but you get what I mean so so after you have a few or maybe even just one version that you like take it to Photoshop so before you go into Photoshop you have to actually take the picture first so um, it looks like this because I've taken some previously just to test out what works and what doesn't the main thing you need to do um, I just have it black and white because that's how I prefer because you're gonna take out the white um, after in Photoshop and you're just gonna leave the black so if we do this arrow first now depending on what you're using to take the photo you just want to get as much contrast as possible whilst you know whilst the the withered effect is still there you don't want it too sharp but you want it sharp enough so that you can see it sort of thing so this is a good example of what you need for Photoshop maybe just focus that bit better so you need good contrast between the black and the white so I'm just going to take this picture and transfer it into Photoshop so once you have the image in Photoshop you just want to take the white out of the background and isolate this arrow. Now, if you already know how to do this, you can just, well, you can just click off really, because all you need to do is isolate this arrow and change it to red. But So, first thing I like to do is just draw around the arrow like this and duplicate the layer just so you have it on its own layer. And then double click on the layer. Once you double click, it should bring up this layer style window. And you just want to drag this, um, I don't know what this is called but on this gradient just drag this white arrow whatever um, inwards and it should get rid of the white on the picture as you can see if I do it slowly you can see it getting rid of the most white parts now once all the main background is gone you may want to feather um, the selection which means sort of blur it out so if you hold alt and click this left arrow here and drag you can see by the selection it will get rid of more of the white but it will also feather it as well. Now all you want to do is make a new layer. There is probably another way to do this but this is how I do it. And then select the new layer you've got and the arrow layer and merge them. Uh, you can control or command E or you can just right click and merge layers. And now if you, you know, you can check that this is, this is the only thing on the layer at the moment. So all you want to do now is add a color overlay to it which again double click and then just go to color overlay and yeah just put it to red and that's it it's not a very good example because the picture is out of focus and it could tone down the white a bit more so yeah this is the same with the circle and everything the main thing is just to um, sketch it on paper and then sort of get rid of the background in Photoshop and then change the color that's it's really simple to do all you need to have is the right markers and just use them correctly and you can get this cool little brush effect but yeah that's it so thank you for watching i hope this did help um i'd like to see what you've done so hit me up on twitter and yeah peace